Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. Today I want to talk to you about something I've been working on, which is going to Champion. Now, if you become Champion 3, you will earn 2,000 gems, which is really awesome. So that's one of my goals. It's also kind of cool just to be able to do it. As you can see, I have 1,600 gems already, and these are all from in-game stuff. I never um, bought any, and I haven't done anything like uh, cash for apps or anything like that. So this is all in-game gems, but I'm just doing it really to, to see if I can. So as you can see, I'm at 3164, and I wanted to talk to you about how I got this far. So my base is Town Hall 9, and it is pretty much, it's not a very powerful base. Um, I've maxed out my Teslas, and I have updated just this one Archer Tower, and I, have, do, I do have level 2 Expos, but this base is not very strong. So one of my keys, one of my key takeaways from this is to do a um, a snipe base or a farming base. So your town hall is outside. Now my basic strategy is to try to do, to do two attacks and then let myself get attacked and hopefully just for one star. Now as you can see from my defense log, um, one attack for minus four, minus nine, minus one, minus twelve, minus eight, minus eight. These aren't big attacks on me. As you can see, the percentages too are small. They're all 2%, which 2% is just the town hall. So one of my key takeaways from trying to do this, or key lessons, is to do a farming base with the town hall sitting outside. Because my base is not strong enough to, to stop town hall 10s and, thing, and max town hall 9s. So I want to just offer them one star so I lose this, the minimum amount of trophies. The other thing I try to do is keep my loot small. As you can see, my gold and my elixir are both pr pretty small. And I've actually stopped, well I'll get into that later, but what I do is I spend all my elixir on walls um, and, my, and my gold. So I have most of my uh, level 8 walls done, and I've actually done, if you can see in the middle here, I've actually done a couple of level 9 walls. And what I do, I do that because I don't want someone looking at my base and wanting to do more than one star. And the other thing I do is I'm not currently upgrading any of my defenses. I want the most, I want maximum defense on my base so that someone coming in won't be tempted to try to take advantage of some upgrades and attack my base. So that is the beginning, and I want to go through a couple of my replays on how I've gotten this far. So let me get started with that. Okay, this is the first replay I want to share with you on my quest to champion. Now you can see this is a Town Hall 8, Masters 1, and you'll learn in a little bit, or you'll see at the end, that this actually is a um, 28 trophy offering. So as you can see, my standard Town Hall 9 going to Champion League um, build is 2 Archers, 6 Wall Breakers, 18 Wizards, 2 Pekkas, 2 Golems, 2 Witches, and I either have a Max Golem or Max Giants in my clan castle. I also use one heal, two rages, and one jump. So as you can see, this was 28 trophies. So I had to take advantage of this attack because most of the bases I come up against at at this level are Town Hall nine, a uh, Town Hall ten, and I really have no no way to attack um, Inferno Towers. I just get demolished when I go up against Inferno Towers. So I don't know if this is the best attack, but it's a pretty good attack, I think. So here I go. Obviously this guy wanted to be attacked from the bottom, but and normally I honor town hall snipes because I like when people honor my town hall snipes when I offer that at my base. But in this one, I just had to I had to go for the 28 trophies. I mean, it was just too many. So here I go. I don't know how this town hall eight guy got this high, and I'm very impressed that he did. But like I said, I'm really just going for trophies right now. So I had to I had to just do this on my own and and take it out. So here we go. This is a pretty pretty easy attack. Like um so town hall 8s I can take out pretty easily. Town hall 9s I'm getting better with. And with 40 seconds left, the only thing that's left is the stuff on the bottom over here. Now my giant gets my barbarian king gets taken out, but I have plenty of uh, giants and wizards and golems to to get through this. I also have my queen who hasn't even used her her ability yet. Now the d giants 
and the golems are going for the defenses. The wizard and the queen can take out everything else. And with 12 seconds left, I can just finish up this base. And then as you can see, 100% 28 trophies. Now I spent a lot of time looking for this base. So I'll talk about that with the second attack. Now here is my next attack on my way to champion. And I want to talk about two quick things before I go even further. Number one is that I got two Masters 1 just doing queen walks and just doing basically town hall sniping and two star attacks using queen walk. And the other thing is I spent a lot of gold trying to find the perfect base to attack. So let me get this one started. Here we go, town hall 9. Um, not very maxed out. Level 1 expos, but a pretty clear shot to the town hall. And a pretty easy jump into the center compartment. So like I sp say, I spend, I could spend up to 100,000 gold just hitting next. Well, I usually don't spend that much, but I do spend a lot just hitting next to try to get to the perfect base to attack. And here I found this one, which I thought was really good. I wipe out the bottom, and then I put the jump spell down to get my goms and my pekkas and stuff to go into the middle compartment. Now, unfortunately, my wizards went ahead, so they do, a lot of them do get killed, but... I do have a pretty decent force here. Some double, some giant bombs in the middle. But as you can see, I have another force going around the top. The ones on the bottom left aren't really doing that well. But the ones on the top and the ones in the middle are doing pretty well. I actually start an archer on the very top with the builder's hut. But I didn't use my other archer for that. My queen is getting hurt. She's working on the elixir storage and she gets taken out. But like I said, I have a pretty decent force coming around the, the left side now. The one defense that's left is a cannon and it's hung up on taking out the golem. So my P.E.K.K.A. wizards and witches, and yeah, I guess there's still one witch. Those have freedom to go around the outside and take out the rest of the base. So here we are at 95, 97, 98%. And the only building that's left is this lab that's up here. The one archer is working on it, but the rest of the forces are coming. So like I said, I go after bases that I really feel like I can 3-star or 2-star for a lot of trophies. So those are the first two attacks I wanted to show you in my quest to champion. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And please don't forget to comment below and subscribe for more Clash of Clans. Thank you guys for watching.